All right, fellas, thanks for checking in and welcome to the Testosterone Channel. So speaking of big muscles, let's focus on Arnold Schwarzenegger, who's probably best known for his amazing physique, both in bodybuilding and of course, as one of the biggest action stars ever. Now, just because the man has played a machine, a Terminator in five different movies, that doesn't mean that he's not human. In fact, in this video, we'll take a look at exactly that. Now, since nobody obviously lives forever, let's take a look at when Arnold's body started to go downhill. But first, let's go back to the beginning. That way, it'll be easier to show a timeline of the man's physique throughout his entire life. All right, so at age 15, Arnold started picking up the dumbbells. He fell in love right away. He put together a five-year plan, which meant by the time he was 20, he wanted to be Mr. Universe. So from then on, the teenager worked out like a madman. Training became an obsession, and he did not take a break until he had reached his goal of reaching 250 pounds of muscles. In this time frame, he had also started competing, and at 19, he entered his first Mr. Universe contest. He placed second though, but just six months later, at age 20, he won the Mr. Universe title and is still the youngest to ever have done that. Now, soon after, he moved to America. While Arnold looked amazing and was big and bad, he still needed to polish his body and physique. So he spent the next three years doing that. And from 1970 to 1975, the man was simply undefeatable. He won a total of six Mr. Olympia titles in the 1970s. He then retired from bodybuilding and started to get his feet wet in Hollywood, building up some connections, had some small appearances here and there. And in 1980, he had the famous comeback and won his seventh Mr. Olympia title. I have another video about that that I'll link after this one, since that entire contest was very controversial. Anyway, back to Arnold's body. In the 1980s, Arnold realized, well, to be in the movies, he really didn't need to be that big, so he trimmed down to around 220 pounds. And this is the Arnold and the physique that the whole world got to know as the next big action star. His muscles definitely helped in securing several parts like the Terminator, Commando, Predator, Red Heat, etc, etc. And yes, as we all remember, in those movies he was wearing nothing but a tank top or no shirt at all, while of course always having a big gun by his side. By now Arnold was a big star and he could do whatever he wanted, working with Danny DeVito in Twins, which is still hilarious to this day. That very same year, Arnold released another movie, which was Red Heat. Arnold was 40 years old and his body still looked absolutely amazing. Now, so far, so good. Nothing but compliments to the man up until this point, but that's about to change. At age 43, when he did Terminator 2, of course, he still looked great, but his body compared to what it looked like in the first one just seven years earlier was definitely very visible, I would say. Now, obviously, Arnold as a movie star was not in nearly as good shape as he had been 15, 20 years earlier when he was competing, which of course only makes sense. However, I would say in his early 40s, that was probably the turning point where things started to slowly go the other way. He was also living large with the Hollywood life and all the parties, so I guess he enjoyed other aspects of life. And he didn't want to dedicate all his time at the gym anymore. Now, the 1990s was a good time for Arnold. He was already established as an action star. His career was going well, he had a family, and he was still in very good shape. He looked good and worked out every single day. Now, nothing lasts forever, including Arnold's amazing body. So when exactly was the turning point where Arnold's body started to really deteriorate? I would say it was around age 50, which really isn't that old compared to so many other bodybuilders that managed to stay in amazing shape even much later. I think one of the reasons was that Arnold had open heart surgery in 1997, just shy of his 50th birthday. And for the first time ever, the big bodybuilder and mega action star almost seemed human to the rest of the world, which for us hardcore fans was almost a little uncomfortable, since a lot of us crazy fans have always seen him as larger than life and capable of anything. Arnold was actually born with a heart defect and had been aware of it since the late 1970s when he was just in his early 30s. His mother at the time also had some heart issues but never had any surgery unlike Arnold. Now just one year later, his mother actually passed away and I believe she was only 74 at the time and it dealt with heart issues, so this was something genetic. After this experience, Arnold's doctors advised him not to lift heavy any longer. So he reduced his workouts to just one hour a day 30 minutes of cardio and 30 minutes of weight training. Now for millions of fans, including myself, Arnold was still Arnold, of course. But at one point, a picture of Arnold walking on the beach circulated in a magazine. At the time, he was only 52 years of age. And this was the first time I ever said to myself, he's still big and strong and muscular, but he's not the Arnold he was 10, 15 years ago. 
Now, even though Arnold did not look like Mr. Olympia anymore, there was still nothing that could slow him down. The man has always been a workaholic, and soon after he started working on Terminator 3. And that meant, just like in the previous films, he had to arrive with no shirt on. I remember at the time I went to the Arnold Classics in Columbus, Ohio and attended one of Arnold's seminars and he said he had just started training for the movie. It also didn't help that he had just crashed his bike and could not work out for several weeks. However, his good old friend Franco Colombo and Arnold went back to the gym and trained hard. Franco said, I know you can get in the same shape as you were before. And in a few months, he gained more muscles, got leaner. Arnold went from 212 pounds to 220 pounds, which was the same shape he was in for Terminator 2. At the time of the shooting Terminator 3, Arnold was 54 years of age. Now, unlike Terminator 2 or 1, in this one, they actually used a paintbrush to make his muscles stand out, so he looked good on camera. And they also used a younger muscle double and I believe it was the bodybuilder Roland Kickinger. If you're very familiar with Arnold's physique and you see some of the shots you can see that this is not Arnold's legs. Nowadays they'll probably use much more advanced techniques. Just weeks after Terminator 3 was released Arnold ran for governor. He ended up winning and served two terms as governor of California. That meant that the man was going to be very very busy. Now as governor he stayed in the state's capital of Sacramento during the week and on the weekends he would fly back to his family in Los Angeles. So the man did not have much spare time. So I'm guessing working out at the gym and his old posing routines were no longer a priority for the man. Arnold finished his second term as governor when he was around 65. Now most people that age would probably just retire on the couch or sit on the porch. But not Arnold. He went back to the movies. Of course by now Arnold's body was only a shadow of its former self. Okay so to answer the question in this video. When was the downfall of Arnold's body? I would say it was around age 50. And I think there are several contributing factors here. First of all, of course, his open heart surgery. But I also think even prior to that, he realized, you know what? I'm seven time Mr. Olympia. I got nothing more to prove. So now I just want to enjoy life. I'll still work out, but I don't have to be fanatic like I used to. So I think he started enjoying the champagne, the parties, and, and maybe occasionally did not ignore the carbs completely. And since 1997, Arnold has had a total of three open heart surgeries. And recently he also got a pacemaker. However, just for the heck of it, let's try to compare Arnold's physique in his early 50s with The Rock. Because Dwayne Johnson is also in his early 50s now. Take a look at that man. This man is unfreaking believable. And yes, he's also Mr. Family Man, and The Rock also has a crazy and insane schedule. Probably crazier than anyone. And yet, he still finds time to work out. The man definitely has the mindset of a younger professional bodybuilder. No doubt about it. Which is absolutely amazing and very inspiring. Now, I don't want to take anything away from Arnold, because I don't think that there would be many other action stars if it wasn't for guys like Arnold and Stallone that sort of had started this whole muscle trend and laid the foundation for all the other action heroes to come. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video here today. If you did, please give it a thumb up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. I'll see you next time for another macho video. Stay safe and don't ignore your workouts. Take care guys.